Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again today. My name is Anne Logan of I'veReadThis.com and today I'm going to be reviewing The Good Pilot Peter Woodhouse by Alexander McCall Smith. So that author's name will probably sound familiar to most of you. He's an uber famous author who's best known for his series, um, <coughs> excuse me, the number one ladies detective agency, which is a cozy mystery series that I love. He also writes a series um, about another woman who solves mysteries whose name is Isabel Dalhousie. And occasionally he'll write a standalone book outside of these series as well. He is a very prolific writer, obviously. He writes quite a bit. So this is one of his standalone books. It's called The Good P Pilot Peter Woodhouse, and it's not linked to any other book that I know of of his. And essentially it's about a young girl named Val Elliott who um, is working on a farm towards the end of World War II uh, in England. And she's living with her aunt and a cousin who um, in basically steals a dog named Peter Woodhouse from um, a farmer who isn't treating him very well. And through this dog, Val meets an American soldier named Mike, and they fall in love. I think one of the most powerful things about this book for me was what Alexander McCall Smith left out of the plots. Um, or no, I shouldn't say the plots, what he left out of writing about. So instead of describing the death of someone, he would talk about how another character, well, he would start a new chapter and then he would talk about how the character is dealing with the death of that other character. And I think in the hands of a kind of a less experienced writer, this wouldn't, this plot device wouldn't really work. But in the writing of this book, I found it really powerful. It, I, don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but not hearing about the death like not seeing it described, but then hearing about it afterwards just kind of gave it much more um, gravitas within the plot. So I really enjoyed that aspect of this book. Another thing that I really appreciated about his writing was that he, um, he touched upon subjects that I really didn't know anything about. And maybe that's just because I am from North America and I'm reading a lot of North American perspectives, but um, as I said before, this is historical fiction. He's talking about World War II, and he writes from the perspective of um, a German soldier who didn't really want to be part of the war, but kind of found himself caught up in it. And he also talks from the perspective of other Germans who, um, some of them feel a bit responsible for what happened and the atrocities that Hitler committed, whereas other people feel like it wasn't their fault at all. Um, you know, there's talk about how some people didn't know about the concentration camps, that sort of thing. So I found that like really fascinating because I don't think that's a perspective that we get very much. There's a quote in particular that I wanted to read to you, and it's a short exchange between an American soldier, the American soldier Mike, and Ubi, the um, ex-German soldier. Uh, Ubi looked at him. The habit of the last few years had become ingrained. Circumspection, caution, silence. Mike noticed and smiled. Look, he said, you're free now. Nobody can harm you. That's all over. Ubi looked at him with gratitude. It was so different for these Americans. They'd never had a government founded on hate. So, um, I just, I really, I found that quote really interesting because I think it's um, incredibly relevant today, unfortunately. And, um, you know, even though this is, you know, what I would say in general, an easy to read book, um, Smith kind of hits us with these um, particular phrases and exchanges that really leave you thinking um, once you've closed the book. So again, just a sign of a really great writer. Um, in general, I think I would I would recommend this book as like the perfect summer read because it does deal with serious topics but it's got this love story running throughout, it's very plot driven, easy to read, and you know I'd even recommend this to a young adult audience who are looking to learn more about Alexander McCall Smith. This is very different writing than um, his more famous books but it's, it's still fun and as I said easy to read and you know it's a page turner. 
and I think this would be great for a summer read that you would just take on vacation with you and then you could lend it to your kids when you're done with it because it is really short, you can tell. There's like 200, yeah, 240 pages. So it's like a little bit longer than like a longish novella. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's my review of The Good Pilot Peter Woodhouse. Highly recommended, great summer read. Now, Smokey's here. I wanted to show you how she's doing. Smokey update. Smokey is doing really, really well, considering um, she is now one instead of two. But um, like, in fact, it's, it's almost awkward how well she's doing. Like, we've taken her off her anti-anxiety medication and yeah, that's right. We have our cats on anti-anxiety medication. Um, and she seems to be doing really well. Like her, even her fur is really soft. And I tend to take that as a sign of um, how cats are feeling in general. And it's not that I'm just brushing her more. Her fur really is softer. So, you know, I, I hate to think what, um, how she really did feel about her sister. Maybe they hated each other all these years and she's glad she's gone. I don't know. But um, Smokey's doing wonderfully. So thank you so much for your kind comments. And we will talk to you guys soon.